service and its impact in the region. Mr. Shah Mahmood. Sawati, Federal Minister for Railways, Mr. Razak Daud, advisor to the Prime Minister on Trade and Commerce, Excellencies, Secretary Railways, Mr. Gilani, uh, DG Coordination, um, Member of Parliament and Parliamentary Secretary for Finance, Mr. Zain Tran Qureshi. Ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. I realize it's uh, getting chilly and I will be brief, but uh, let me uh, begin by complimenting you, sir, and your department for this dedicated work that you are inaugurating the ITI cargo train leaving Islamabad today and going all the way to Istanbul is a beginning. It's a beginning of a dream that was uh, visualized through the ECO Forum. ECO becomes uh, uh, meaningful when we see such projects taking off. The economic integration that was and is required will only take place when such projects and this partnership between the public and the private sector, you know, through Harun Brothers, becomes a reality. Thank you for making that happen. Mr. Razak Daud clearly said that our intra-regional trade is at the level of 7 to 8 percent, which is nothing. And uh, he also said, and I, I completely agree with him, that uh, the most efficient and the most cost effective way of transferring goods from place to place is through train service. Uh, and we need to do that. And this is very much in line with the government's foreign policy, which is a shift, a clear shift from geopolitics to geoeconomics, because the government realizes that unless we have economic security, our foreign policy objectives will never be uh, met. But that is why in the foreign office, even today, this morning, when the prime minister was there at the foreign office, uh, complimenting uh, the work of the uh, Foreign Service Officers for a very successful uh, uh, 17th uh, extraordinary session of the OIC CFM. He talked about economic diplomacy and that is what is the need of the hour. Hopefully this will be a beginning and one day when this uh, freight train becomes a success, hopefully we will see an ITI passenger train connecting the people of this region. We have a uh, vision Central Asia. So such projects promote regional connectivity. They uh, complement our uh, vision Central Asia policy. And I am happy that two uh, Central Asian uh, ambassadors are participating uh, in this, uh, on this meeting. So, it's a good start. I wish you all the best. I wish uh, all the concerned departments who have contributed, who have helped you uh, in making this happen. Uh, I want to thank them as well. Uh, you will always have the support of the Foreign Office, you sir, and you, because we actually believe, and I want to promote economic diplomacy. That is the need of the hour. Thank you for this uh, honor that you bestowed upon us and me in particular. Uh, inshallah, uh, I can see uh, uh, this uh, train. Let's not forget, we will have to monitor and oversee. And the reason I say that, uh, Mr. Galani, is an attempt 
was made in 2009. And then it petered out. So we are resuming what we had foreseen then in 2021. Uh, the, the concept was uh, shared and we had this uh, uh, dream, but I hope this becomes a reality. So I wish you all the best and thank you for the invitation.